Hi guys, what's up? It's Emma and in today's video we're going to be thrifting because it's all I do. This video has like a bunch of fun announcements and that's just really fun. So we're going to get into those. Number one, today's video is going to be how to thrift mom jeans. I announced that I was going to do this video in my prom dress video and I got so many comments being like, please do it. Please like, please do it. And I was like, okay, we're going to do that. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to thrift mom jeans. I wouldn't say it's 100% fail safe because I don't know what your Goodwill like personally has or whatever, but this is how I thrift mom jeans for myself in the past, my friends, stuff like that. Obviously, since it is summer, the ideal is to thrift them and then to cut them into shorts. So if you guys want a whole other video on like how to DIY the perfect pair of mom jean thrift shorts, you know, whatever, leave a comment down below. Number two is I'm not vlogging on my phone. Sis upgraded. So you're watching this on a Canon G7X, which I'm so excited about because guys, I feel like a real YouTuber. I have the like the stand thing and everything and a real camera. Just feeling blessed out here. Also, thank you so much for 100K. It's kind of like not sunk in yet that 100,000 people watch my videos. That's really scary. Number three is that this video is actually sponsored by Poshmark, which is so cool. Sis got a sponsorship. Poshmark, if you guys don't know what it is, is basically an, an app where you can like upload um, and sell clothes. If you don't wanna put in like the time dedication it takes to go thrifting, like thrifting takes literally like two to three hours. And that's when you're cutting it short. It's like online thrifting because other people like sell their stuff or like put up pictures of it and you can like browse through it like in your own bed. The comfort, literally so nice. So instead of having to come out here and spend hours at Google, you could literally do it all on your phone. But basically, I'm using this video to kind of say that Poshmark would be a shortcut to thrifting mom jeans. I have found mom jeans on Poshmark as well as I've listed them on Poshmark. They basically, you can search brands like Levi, Tommy Hilfiger, Calvin Klein, and like it'll show you like those brands that people have listed for like mom jeans. And it makes it a lot easier if you don't have the time to come thrift like I do. Like I spend like dedicated time thrifting because I want to look through absolutely everything in the store because I'm crazy. Poshmark makes that super easy. My Poshmark is Emma Top X. I just listed a guest jean skirt which I thrifted a couple days ago. It's really cool. So if you want to um, follow my thing, I'll put it right here. I have, I think, about 10 items listed, including the Orioles Bomber, which I've been meaning to sell for literally like a year now. Also thrifted. Poshmark right now is what I'm using to sell anything that I have. So if you guys want to shop my closet or buy anything from my closet, then feel free to follow me and then list your own stuff. It's really fun. It's I'll leave a link in the description to download it. It's a really cool app. And also, listing things is fun. We're going to go thrift some mom jeans. I'm so excited about it. I'll probably like show you guys later if I find anything in there that I'm gonna list on Poshmark. I have an iced vanilla blonde latte and I'm really excited to do this video because I've been waiting for it for a long time and I wanted that good quality and now now we're here. So if you guys wanna come thrift with me and watch me thrift mom jeans and learn how to thrift them for yourself, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so I just finished shopping for jeans, and as you can see, I have so many pairs. Hey guys, so my first tip is to look in the men's section for jeans. I feel like they have a better offering as far as brands go, and they fit a lot different. I find more stuff in the boys' section than I do in the girls' section. These are boys, and as you can see, they fit me really well. I also feel like the men's section always has like a larger variety of pickings, like more racks dedicated to jeans, so I find a lot more in the men's section over the women's section, but literally, that stack is all men's jeans and this stuff is women's so as you can see the next tip is all about wash these i would consider as the perfect wash for a mom jean they're like that middle light wash these are actually harley davidson which is so cool so any jeans that have like real they're really thick like they're gonna have some substance to them because they're probably gonna be a bit older these are a little thin like not the ideal i'd say these are decent any jeans that are like really thick and nice are gonna be the best kind of mom jean because they're gonna be really sturdy and probably 
more of the time gonna be older. When I'm going through the racks, I look for a lighter wash similar to this because it usually means that it's gonna be an older denim because this was popular back in like the 90s. So this is what I would consider to be the ideal wash. So when you're on the racks and you see a lighter color, I'd go for that. Another tip that I have is to thrift from the opposite side of the rack. So when you're looking through, so you can see labels like this, it usually indicate that they're a pretty good pair of jeans. Levi's, Ralph Lauren, uh, Levi's again and then Calvin Klein and also this look like Tommy to me but the cool thing about these is once you see these colors it's kind of like a trigger point so you can kind of look for like red and blue to find like Tommy denim but look from the other side to look for the labels another good tip is to when you're trying them on ignore the bottom half sometimes I can like throw you off but if you're looking for just shorts imagine it just like right here and focus on the waist like this is a kind of like a paper baggy ish texture with the pleats I think is really cool but if you think it's not gonna be good, make sure to ignore the bottom part because sometimes I find the wackiest pants that have the weirdest bottoms and it kind of deters me from buying them for shorts. But you never know because you can always cut it off. Of course, always try the jeans on. Like these look tiny on the hanger, like literally tiny. When you put them on, they fit really well. They also, once again, look ridiculous at the bottoms. Like wearing these pants is probably not what I would wanna do. I'm definitely gonna cut them. So if you focus on the waistband and the pocket details, you can see that they could be potentially super cute shorts. Always, always try them on. Even if they look too big, you never know. They could look really cool with like a belt, so it's like a little bit bunched. But don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> also, a side note, but I found so much dickies today. Like two is like so regular. I've only ever found one thing before. I feel like this is definitely a rising brand. And these remind me of IMG pants or Unif or something. And these were sadly too big, but I feel like Dickies is another brand to look out for. Some brands that I would definitely look out for are Levi's, of course, Tommy Hilfiger, Calvin Klein, Liz Claiborne is also like a low-key good brand for jeans. Wrangler is also really great. Lucky brands sometimes have good stuff. It just like depends. Harley Davidson, I was so surprised to find these, but that's a good one. Also leads into my next tip is that mom jeans don't have to be name brand. I find a lot of the ones that are really great that aren't by, oh my gosh, look at me. A lot of good mom jeans aren't name brand, which they don't have to be. I'm just saying like if you're looking for an easy way out, it's to trigger like with like the label when you see it. But if you actually have the time to look through and look for like the qualities that all the other jeans have, ones that are off brand can sometimes be the best kind. The ones that Stephanie sent me are off brand and I love them. Okay, so this is all what I'm not getting right there, but I will show you what I'm getting in the car. Guys, there's been some subscribers. Hi. Hi. Finished thrifting in that Goodwill. It was loads of fun. I actually met two subscribers, which was just so cool. Um, sorry, I'm the most awkward person in the entire world. It's fine. No, it's not. I actually found something that I'm going to list on Poshmark. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. It's so much fun. I'll be back in like four seconds, but yeah. So we're gonna take a pic of this nice little vest and upload it to Poshmark RN. Let's see. The closet is like aesthetically pleasing. Like it all matches. I love that. I love that. If you guys want to buy anything that I'm selling, I'll have the link down below in the description as well if you want to make your own account. It's a free app. You can download it. It's literally thrift shopping, but on your own time and most likely in your bed because that's what I do all the time. If you guys like this, leave me a comment down below. Let me know. I love you guys so much. Um, I'm posting a huge thrift haul soon. I haven't posted one in probably half a year, so my closet is literally bursting at the seams. My mom yells at me every day because I have too many clothes. I, Susan, I know. That's all of it. Follow me on Instagram right here. I spend way too much time on it and I really appreciate the clout because when I get more followers, I look cooler, so thank you very much. Follow me and don't. I want to go on a fun trip. That'd be super sweet. Good Gucci flip flop. I just played that in a church parking lot. It's probably disrespectful. <laughs>